What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here again today. We're talking about Jeebus Creepers 4, Scream 6, Halloween Ends, and Megan. Yes, that killer doll AI new movie that's coming in January. Finally dropped this trailer today. Just to kick it off with Jeebus Creepers 4. Jeebus Creepers 4 is closing in on $4 million worldwide, which is really crazy to me. I say that's crazy because the whole movie, for the most part, had almost little to no marketing at all, and it was just dumped for three days in September via, you know, Fathom events. It's currently available digitally. People, I guess, still are going out to theaters to watch it. Uh, the budget was reportedly $5 million, which, if true, that is like, what, $1 million less or $1 million less than the alleged budget of three, which is like around six point one or six million as far as like what's alleged was the budget for three so it seems like this one is somehow going to make back its budget better than the third film and this one had again no marketing perhaps here's the other thing perhaps what the boost might be is the appeal of the lack of victor salva the lack of victor salva could indeed be a be a boost which could lead to i would guess like you know the same way they did four why would they not do five however there are some other things to keep in mind like for instance what's strange to me is the accounts for the film they aren't even telling folks about these screenings that are still occurring like they told you about the one time return it had but they're not telling you about these other things like i had a friend call me up and tell me they could see it yesterday no no one on the official accounts like none of the official accounts are bringing this up that it's still out there it's almost as if they indeed only care to make a certain amount to profit off a known ip and then call it quits and say hey you know forget jeepers creepers we already know they have this lawsuit they're dealing with so how this was handled just screams the opposite of what what the claims of a new trilogy are so like if this tv series rumor ends up being being a reality or becoming a reality then that's probably the best thing for this franchise at this point however I believe it would cost more to make a series for TV, depending on all the ins and outs and what is needed, plus how many episodes the season would have, etc. So we'll see what Jeepers Creepers future ultimately ends up being. Just to jump into Scream 6, Scream 6, we now have a new character name. Now, Clips Comprehend over on Twitter again has revealed something that might be allegedly true as it pertains to a character i believe it's true going off of the character breakdown sheet that again was leaked online a few months ago so clips is saying josh segura's character from scream 6 is going to be playing david coleman now this role we know is the role that simeon days auditioned for if you remember that audition tape video i did a few months back for when this character is labeled derek as a code name and going off of that audition tape much like the audition tape revealed to us earlier this year clips is saying the character description for david is he's a neighbor of sam we saw that in the audition tape he's a neighbor of sam and tara barely getting by as an actor model they first meet him when he offers to help carry things in for sam and tara's new place but sam declines the offer he has a blonde actress friend. Now, the blonde actress friend, I'm going to say that must be Samara Weaving because Clips kind of nodded to this by saying the friend was weaved in there. Samara's role probably won't be that big, honestly. And if anything, she might have maybe two to five minutes of screen time at max. I hope for more, but the cast is so packed. Like, the movie is so packed with people we want to see. We can't get a good meal from every person. It's just a sad reality. Uh, but... It's nice that Sam is, of course, going to get possibly her own Derek 2.0, like how Sydney had her actual boyfriend named Derek in Scream 2. I don't believe Josh is going to be the killer, but but many do because of his shirt matching the shirt worn by other killers like he had on that plaid, like the, the pattern of other killers. That's what his shirt was. So we'll see if he actually ends up being the killer. I doubt he will be. That was a nice nugget from Clips. I will also do a video talking about Samara's role and just saying what I think will go down with her character uh since she apparently will be an actress just to jump into halloween ends halloween ends jamie lee curtis has further explained why some people will be angered by ends now it seems that she's talking more about not the ending and more specifically about themes in the film and what's explored so i've been saying she said i've been saying people are going to be angry from the beginning she's this is an interview from digital spy by the way they're going to be angry because we're saying something about all of us in all of us as a society this is about victims this is about victim shaming this is about what happens in a town when we have all become monsters people don't like to be told they're monsters you've seen the monsters on twitter all that social media has done is really reminded us all that we're monsters and that we have that power and that we have that power it's a movie about michael and laurie coming in for this final inevitable battle between good and evil but in the midst of it all it's asking is michael really just evil or are we all a little bit culpable here so i mean you know themes like that could be 
something that turns some people off the fact that they have to recognize that they themselves aren't perfect you know some people don't like being told hey you're not perfect because they like to believe they are so maybe those people will be bothered by it i personally don't see myself being bothered by this i don't know if many of you would see yourself being bothered by that a movie where it's dealing with the fact that you know humans really are crap <laughs> and at least not being overly overly fed that narrative but the way that it's depicted and how we see Corey's storyline play out will probably tie into that theme of hey you know michael isn't the only monster just because he's going around killing people he's just a much worse monster there there are many monsters out there in general that exist within this species of humanity that really just help maybe contribute to some of the bigger monsters that we have today just a nice thing to think about which I do believe is kind of true. Just to jump into this last bit here regarding Megan. Megan has released a first look at the film, or at least the first trailer, I would say, to give us a glimpse of what we should expect from this new AI killer doll. And the marketing already is so much fun. If you DM this account that were, that is associated with the Twitter, the, the Twitter handle for the for the film. She will have a whole conversation with you. Of course, the responses are auto-generated, but she'll send you a picture of yourself that she has photographed, obviously in reference to the movie poster that shows us the same image. But the trailer itself, very, very interesting. We got to see, it looked like most of this was stuff that was shown at CinemaCon. We got to see footage of a boy falling into the road after Megan chases him there after he's seen causing problems with Violet McGraw's character who we know is playing the niece of Allison Williams some story details shown in the trailer seem to be that her parents of course have died they seem to I guess died from a car crash you know soon have some horror cliches there and then there are of course going to be comparisons to Child's Play 2019 but this trailer was very effective it did enough to set you up to give you that sense of security with Megan before of course flipping the switch and then showing you a nice chunk of some of the madness that's going to ensue once Megan starts to become overprotective of Violet McGraw's character and how Allison Williams will have to uh, combat with Megan who is going to be doing her best to make sure that that character is kept safe from any and all bullies that might come her way. So I know a lot of people were talking about how the doll was dancing. I did love that. I thought it was a nice touch. Let me know what you guys thought about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.